I don't have much that I can add to what my brothers have said, uh, Salam and Arya, uh, other than to say I completely stand with them and support every word that they have shared with you. Instead, what I'd like to do, just very briefly, is, is share a story. In uh, August of 2014, uh, Michael Brown was sh shot to death in the streets of Ferguson, Missouri. And that night, a community gathered to grieve and to pray. To grieve and to pray the death of one of their own. Basic human thing to do. And they were met by police in military gear who shot tear gas canisters at them. And one of the people there picked up the tear gas canister and took a picture of it and tweeted it out. And someone in Palestine saw that picture and tweeted a picture in return of the same tear gas canister that had been shot at them by IDF forces. And so what we learned from that is that the same people were training both the American police and the IDF. What we have either learned or probably not learned from the experience of Ferguson is that people need the chance to come together to pray, to grieve, to be together as a community. It is a basic human need and basic human decency says that we need to allow ourselves to do that. And when that does not happen, when, when we meet that community desire for love and support and grief with militarized force, it only escalates the violence. What has happened at the mosque in Jerusalem is nothing new. It is a replaying over and over and over again of what happens when we do not respect the deep need of each other to gather together, to pray, to celebrate, to grieve. The struggle we have for civil rights in this country, a struggle that is ongoing, is deeply related to the struggle for civil and human rights going on in Palestine. The same tear gas canisters are being shot at both sides. And it is so important to note the same people are profiting on both sides. And so we are calling not just for an end to violence. We are calling for an end to the oppression that sparks the violence. We are calling to respect basic human decency to give each other the space to come together, to pray, to grieve, to celebrate, and to recognize that when we deny each other that human decency, we deny the humanity in ourselves. Thank you.